Shocking as it may sound, 60% of adults have experienced toxic relationships at some point in their life. Yes, you heard it right. Over half of the adult population have been entangled in relationships that are not just unhealthy but toxic, draining their emotional well-being and casting a dark shadow over their lives. This is a startling statistic, a wake-up call to the pervasive issue that is often swept under the carpet. Toxic relationships, ladies and gentlemen, are not mere figments of melodramatic soap operas. They are real, they are prevalent, and they are causing untold harm to individuals and society at large. Just pause and ponder over this for a moment. Six out of every ten adults have endured the emotional turmoil of a toxic relationship. This is not a minor issue we can afford to ignore. It is a widespread problem, a silent epidemic that is eroding the fabric of our social interactions affecting our mental health and impairing our capacity to form healthy, fulfilling relationships. And the consequences? They are as diverse as they are devastating. From crippling self-esteem to fostering a culture of blame and victimhood, from perpetuating cycles of abuse to normalizing manipulative behavior, the fallout of toxic relationships seep into every aspect of our lives. They distort our perceptions of love and trust. They leave deep emotional scars and they often lead to a cycle of toxicity that is hard to break. The severity of this issue cannot be overstated. Toxic relationships are not just personal tragedies. They are societal issues that demand our attention and action. They influence how we interact with others, how we perceive ourselves and how we navigate the world around us. They shape our norms, our values, our very understanding of what it means to love and be loved. It's time we face this shocking reality head on, acknowledge its existence and take conscious steps to address it. Toxic relationships are a silent epidemic, a reality we must confront head-on. Recognizing the signs of a toxic relationship is the first step towards breaking free. A toxic relationship isn't always easy to identify, but there are some common signs that should ring alarm bells. Firstly, constant criticism. Everyone has flaws and it's normal for partners to point them out occasionally. However, in a toxic relationship, this criticism is incessant. It's a tool used to belittle and undermine the other person, to make them feel small, inadequate, and worthless. You may start to believe that you can't do anything right, that you're always the problem, but remember, no one deserves to be put down constantly. Then there's controlling behavior. This doesn't necessarily mean physical restraint. It can be subtler, like monitoring your activities, dictating who you can and can't see, or making decisions on your behalf without your input. It's about power and dominance stripping you of your autonomy and independence. Emotional manipulation is another telltale sign. This could be guilt tripping you into doing things, gaslighting you into questioning your own reality, or playing the victim when they're the one at fault. It's a complex, insidious tactic that can leave you feeling confused and disoriented, unsure of your feelings and perceptions. Experts concur with these points. According to Dr. Lillian Glass, a renowned communication and psychology expert, these are classic signs of a toxic relationship. She posits that constant criticism, controlling behavior, and emotional manipulation are not only damaging, but can lead to serious mental health issues if left unchecked. However, it's important to remember that not all toxic relationships are identical. Different people may experience different signs or even different combinations of these signs. What matters is recognizing when you're not being treated with the respect and kindness you deserve. Knowledge is power. Identifying these signs is the first move towards liberation. You're not alone, and there are resources available to help you navigate these difficult waters. Recognizing the problem is the first crucial step towards breaking free from the chains of emotional turmoil. Experts in the field have shed light on the complexity of toxic relationships. One such expert, Dr. Lillian Glass, a renowned communication and psychology expert, defines a toxic relationship as any relationship that is unfavorable to you. She emphasizes that toxic relationships are not limited to romantic partnerships, but can also occur in friendships, family ties, and even professional relationships. Dr. Robert Hare, a leading expert in the study of psychopathy, points out that toxic relationships often involve a cycle of abuse. This cycle, he explains, typically involves a pattern of abusive behavior, followed by a period of remorse or affection, leading the victim to stay in the relationship. This cycle can be incredibly damaging and difficult to break free from. Psychiatrist Dr. Judith Orloff further explains the psychological impact of toxic relationships. 
She states that these relationships can lead to feelings of worthlessness, anxiety, and depression. Often victims may feel drained and emotionally exhausted. It's not uncommon for victims to lose sight of their own needs and desires, as their focus becomes centered on pleasing or appeasing their toxic partner. Dr. Stephen Stosny, a therapist specializing in anger and abuse, highlights that toxic relationships often involve an imbalance of power. One person dominates and controls the other, often through manipulation or fear. This power dynamic can make it incredibly challenging for the victim to assert their rights or establish boundaries. Dr. Laura Berman, a relationship therapist, underscores the importance of recognizing these dynamics. She believes that understanding the patterns and psychological effects of toxic relationships is the first step towards breaking free. You cannot change what you do not acknowledge, she says. So, it's clear that toxic relationships are complex and multifaceted, involving cycles of abuse, power imbalances, and severe psychological impacts. Yet, as these experts tell us, understanding these dynamics is crucial. Understanding the dynamics of toxic relationships can help us navigate and ultimately escape these damaging situations. Escaping a toxic relationship may seem daunting, but with the right strategies, it's entirely possible. Let's dive into some of these strategies. First and foremost, setting boundaries is crucial. It's about knowing your limits and making them clear to the other person. Remember, you have the right to be treated with respect, and it's okay to communicate what you will not tolerate. This could involve anything from inappropriate comments to manipulative behavior. Setting boundaries isn't about making demands or ultimatums, but rather about preserving your mental and emotional health. Next, seeking support is an integral part of dealing with a toxic relationship. It's easy to feel isolated or misunderstood, but reaching out to trusted friends, family, or a professional counselor can provide a fresh perspective and help you feel less alone. These folks can offer advice, provide a listening ear, and remind you of your worth when you're feeling low. Now let's touch on the importance of self-care. In the throes of a toxic relationship, it's easy to neglect your own needs. However, investing time in activities that bring you joy, promote relaxation, and help you feel grounded can make a world of difference. This could be as simple as taking a walk in nature, engaging in a hobby, or even just reading a book. Prioritizing self-care helps you regain a sense of control and fosters resilience in the face of adversity. But remember, dealing with a toxic relationship isn't a one-size-fits-all scenario. What works for one person may not work for another. It's important to listen to your inner voice and trust your instincts. You know yourself better than anyone else. Furthermore, seeking professional help is always a viable option. Therapists and counselors are equipped with the tools and understanding to guide you through this challenging time. They can offer strategies tailored to your unique situation and provide a safe space for you to process your emotions. Armed with these strategies, freedom from toxicity is within reach. Remember, you're not alone in this journey, and there's a whole world of support waiting for you out there. When trapped in a toxic relationship, seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but strength. We often perceive asking for help as a sign of inadequacy, but let's shift that perspective. In the throes of a toxic relationship, reaching out for assistance isn't about being unable to handle your problems. It's about recognizing the need for expertise, guidance, and support. It's about understanding that we are not islands, but interconnected beings. Professional help, such as therapy or counseling, can be instrumental in navigating these tumultuous waters. Therapists are trained to identify patterns that we may overlook and to provide tools and strategies to break free from unhealthy dynamics. They offer a safe and confidential space where you can express your feelings and fears without judgment. Counselors, on the other hand, can provide practical advice and coping mechanisms to help you deal with the day-to-day -day challenges. They can help you understand your rights, set boundaries, and develop healthier relationships. But professional help isn't the only avenue for support. The importance of a strong network of friends and family cannot be overstated. These are the people who know you, who care for you, who want to see you flourish. They can provide comfort, solidarity, and a listening ear when you need it most. It's crucial to remember, however, that while friends and family can offer invaluable emotional support, they're not a substitute for professional help. Each plays a unique and crucial role in your journey towards healing. Don't let fear or pride prevent you from seeking the help you need. You're taking control of your life, your happiness, your future. That's not weakness. That's courage. It's strength. It's resilience. 
and never forget that it's okay to ask for help, it's okay to need others. We're not meant to face this world alone. We're wired for connection, for community, for compassion. Remember, you're not alone. Reach out, seek help, and take the first step towards a healthier life. Life after a toxic relationship can be a journey of self-discovery and healing. As the dust settles and the echoes of past turmoil begin to fade, you may find yourself standing at the threshold of a new and uncertain path. This path, while daunting, is one that leads towards healing and growth. After leaving a toxic relationship, the process of mending your emotional wounds can be challenging. It's akin to navigating a labyrinth, where each turn might bring you face to face with old wounds or fresh realizations. But remember, it's okay to feel lost or overwhelmed. Healing is not a race, nor is it a linear process. It's a journey that unfolds at your own pace. You might experience a kaleidoscope of emotions. You may grapple with guilt, regret, or even a sense of loss. It's important to recognize these feelings, to sit with them, to understand them, and ultimately, to let them go. Release them like leaves in the wind, acknowledging their presence but not allowing them to anchor you to the past. In the wake of a toxic relationship, it's crucial to rebuild your self-esteem. You are not defined by the narrative of another. You are the author of your own story, and it's time to pick up the pen once more. Write yourself into existence with kindness, compassion, and love. As you heal, you may find that you're growing, evolving into a version of yourself that you didn't know was possible. This personal growth is a testament to your resilience, a testament to your strength. Looking forward, the future holds the promise of healthier relationships. Relationships built on mutual respect, understanding and love. Relationships that nourish your soul and foster your growth. Relationships that are a reflection of your newfound self-love and respect. Breaking free from a toxic relationship isn't the end, but the beginning of a new chapter. A chapter defined by self-love, respect, and healthier relationships. So step into this new chapter with courage and conviction, knowing that you are not alone, that you are loved, that you are worthy. Remember, healing is not just possible, it is inevitable. Toxic relationships can leave deep scars, but remember, these scars do not define you. They are simply reminders of the battles you fought and the strength you've discovered within yourself. The journey through emotional turmoil, though challenging, is a voyage of self-discovery and resilience. Let's take a moment to revisit the key points we've discussed. Recognizing toxic relationships is the first step towards liberation. It's about identifying the signs, the patterns of disrespect, manipulation, and neglect. Understanding these signs is crucial. It equips you with the knowledge to navigate and steer clear of such unhealthy relationships. Equally important is seeking help. You're not alone in your struggle. Reach out to trusted friends, family members, or mental health professionals. Their support can provide the reassurance and guidance you need. Remember, it's not a sign of weakness to ask for help. It's a testament to your strength and your commitment to your well-being. Embracing the journey to a healthier, happier you is pivotal. It's about reclaiming your emotional freedom, your self-esteem, your peace. It's about understanding that you're worthy of respect, love, and kindness. It's about breaking the chains of emotional turmoil and stepping into a future filled with potential. Life after a toxic relationship may seem daunting, but it's a path paved with growth, self-love, and resilience. It's a chance to rediscover yourself, to rebuild your life on your own terms. It's an opportunity to cultivate healthier relationships that nourish your spirit and enrich your life. In conclusion, while toxic relationships can be damaging, they don't have the power to break you. The power lies within you. The power to recognize, to seek help, to heal, and to move forward. The power to turn your scars into symbols of strength and resilience. In the battle against toxic relationships, remember, you hold the power. Break the chains, seek help, and embrace the journey to a healthier, happier you. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.